zoals Prince het ooit omschreef. Dank je. Check it out. Wij zijn Kicks Radio. Murray Hines is net afgestudeerd aan Belmont University in Nashville. Een paar weken geleden had ze de Kicks Expat plug-in met Long Way to Letting Go. Vandaag hoor je een interview met haar. En je hoort ook wat fragmenten van haar debuutalbum Worth the Fight. Nashville is een stad met 10.000 songwriters. Dus het is niet zo eenvoudig om je daar als artiest te profileren. De eerste vraag aan Marie is hoe haar relatie met piano begon. Funny how the little things can stay claim in memory. And she time to last a hundred years. I swore that I'd be strong enough to drop my heart and pick it up. And make the great escape without a tear. taking um, group lessons when I was three years old. I took Yamaha class and it was the one where, you know, the parents come into the class with the children and it's very, very basic. And then I started just playing classical piano um, when I was six and actually entered into Belmont University as a piano major my first semester. Um, But I started writing songs when I was about 12 just because I was bored with the classical sheet music that my piano teacher gave me and I just, I felt the need to expound on the creativity that I just had kind of built up. I hate to be cliche and say that my lyrics are directly from my diary, but they are. The majority of the things that I write about have happened to me. They've been experiences that I've gone through. And I usually, the song doesn't inspire the experience, the experience inspires the song. And so with most of my material, it comes, basically, I use it as an outlet to um, process, you know, a heartbreak or falling in love or, you know, things that I see my friends going through. And so the lyrics have always been a very, very important part to me just because I'm a perfectionist and I feel like, I mean, I will sit with a song for a year if I've got a line that just doesn't fit right. And I think it's a really interesting way to be able to connect with the world around me. biggest challenge from coming off of your first record and creating new music is wanting to push forward past that the sound that you've already established you know i've noticed that with my writing i'll i'll find a particular pattern like i'll write verse chorus bridge chorus chorus out you know and i'll have the same sort of tendencies in a group of two or three songs every couple of months and so i'm actively listening to other artists who i admire and i'm reading classic literature and reading poetry and trying to constantly immerse myself in bringing material in so that the new material that I produce is better. And I'm trying to learn to play guitar. I'm not very good at it yet, but it's inspiring another uh, type of songwriting for me. So that's how I'm trying to push forward because it's very important. I mean, music is constantly evolving and as a person, growth and life is constantly evolving. This one is another very personal song. Um, I grew up in the South, in the Southern Bible Belt area, and I saw a lot of legalism and religion when I was growing up, and 
Worth the Fight is based on my, you know, coming to Nashville, and, and I was brought up this way too. My parents were very good about instilling this in me, that, you know, religion is not about legalism. It's not about staying within the lines. It's about, you know, loving on people. And, and so that's what Worth the Fight is about. And it's about how learning to break from the legalism and, and, you know, whatever you want to call it, like staying within the lines or the rules or, you know, anything that restricts you from loving on people and being who you are, you know, it, it's difficult, but ultimately that it's worth the fight and that, you know, things are not always going to be easy. When you grow, there are growing pains and growing pains hurt. And so changing sometimes and, you know, rethinking things is difficult, but that it's always worth the fight to be free and to realize the freedom and love in life. There's bigger pictures to paint, more horizons to chase, something better in search and reach and burn and bleed and black and white. Titelnummer van haar debuut CD. Fits and the Tantrums and LOV and the Four Traffic uit 1968 and Feeling Alright. Ik praat nog even verder met singer-songwriter Marie Hines uit Nashville over vrouwen, over ware schoonheid en over haar grootste muzikale voorbeeld aller tijden, Billie Holiday. Ik kan wel zeggen, ja. Dit is Kicks Radio. Wij houden van muziek. En dat hoor je. she was able to channel her negative life into her songs and when you hear her sing yes she has the you know, beautiful brassy voice but she has emotion in her voice and I just I mean I've never experienced some of the things that she has but I feel like I have whenever I listen to her she had a really tumultuous life she just was addicted to bad drugs and bad men and just to be able to take an experience like that and use it for good to channel it through your voice and into the music and she reached a ton of people with that so that's what I find really incredible plus she wore the uh, the magnolia I believe it was which is just that's my favorite flower and she's beautiful and inspiring and when When I was 
in college, I took a songwriting class, and the professor challenged us to find a photo and write a song based off of that photo. One of the photos that was speaking to me at that time was the Dove campaign for Real Beauty when they had the real women in their underwear. And I was really struck by the fact that they were kind of redefining the word beauty as, you know, every woman is beautiful and, you know, each woman has her own style of beauty. Our culture has hurt us women because we now believe that we have to have this type of makeup and this hairstyle and these clothes and if they're not designer then they're not good and you know the plastic surgery and I just I am such a firm believer that every woman has something that is beautiful about her and men too you know so if the beauty industry were to convey that confidence is the source of real beauty, things would be so different. Because a woman can make herself look beautiful and can put on makeup and nice clothes, but it's nothing without that confidence. I have seen women that the world would not deem as commercially beautiful, but they have this beautiful confidence and glow inside of them, and it makes them infinitely more beautiful than you know the top model. So that's what I think the real issue is, and that's what that song hints towards.
and Beauty van haar CD Worth the Fight. Je kan meer over haar zien en lezen op mariehines.com. Hey,